we're going to take this particular part, which happens to be the top of a sign plate, we're going to take it out in the shop and I'm going to show you how to grind this the fast way. There's lots of ways to grind and you're going to hear all kinds of people to say that I grind it this way, grind it that way. Well, we're going to show you the fast way to do it. This is going to make you a more valuable employee. Because if somebody alongside of you is taking a half hour to grind this and if you can do it in six or seven minutes, what does that say to your boss? So we want to make you a more valuable person. I'm excited about sharing this. We, we do this all the time. We do this every day. So believe me, when I tell you we found the fast way to do it and to hold tolerances, we know how to do it. Let's go out in the shop. The whole idea here is to make you a better surface grinder hand. So we're going to show you how to do that. There's a lot of techniques that you're going to hear different people say, well, we should grind it this way, grind it that way. We've been doing this for a lot of years. I'm going to show you the most effective way to do it. So first thing I'm going to do is dress the wheel and then I'm going to take a cut and I'm going to show you how to do that. Stand by. Okay, remember the little trick I told, I told you about earlier? I'm going to bring the grinding wheel down until it just touches. Now I can feel the grit coming off with my hand. Obviously I'm keeping it far away from the wheel so I'm not going to hurt myself. I'm going to take a quick cut here. Need down just a few thousands, that's all you need. Now I'm going to mount the, uh, I'm going to take the part that we're going to grind, which happens to be this piece right here. First thing I'm going to do is take our stone and get rid of any burrs that are on there. We don't need those. This piece has been hardened to about 65 Rockwell, 63, 65, somewhere in there. We're going to grind this side right here. I'm going to shut the spindle off for just a moment. I'm going to stone the chuck. That's a safety factor. A lot of folks don't do that. I don't recommend you do it that way. Frankly, I recommend you shut it off just to keep your fingers away. You're going to put your fingers near the wheel. You don't need to lose them. You only get them once. All right, so now we're going to stone the chuck. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't feel any burrs on there. Already stoned the back side. We'll do it again just to make sure. Set it up like so. Turn the chuck on. And we're ready to grind. Now remember that other trick I showed you? about how we bring the wheel down until it just touches and we back off of it a little bit. We're ready to go. We're going to use our paper. There we are. Now I know we're three or four thousandths away because that's how thick the paper is. So remember we talked about heat being our enemy. We want to keep it cool. So we're going to use a coolant on it, which is air and coolant combined. Now here's the trick part. I'm going to take it down all the way. Now a lot of guys want to grind thousands at a time, two thousands at a time. No, 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 no. That's just a waste of time. If you need to take off ten thousands, take off ten thousands all at one time. There's no need to take it off a thousands at a time. Why do I say that? Remember, we've got coolant on it. We're going to keep it pretty cool, so we can dissipate the heat. I'm not worried about that. Turns out that's about seven thousands.
take us? What do you think, Glenn? Was that about a minute, two minutes? How many? There you go. Now that's a rough cut. But we got the job done. Now we got to take a finish cut, yes. And, we're, and I'm confident we've got rid of most of the heat by using the coolant that we did. It's about room temperature, maybe a couple of degrees warmer, but it'll cool off as I take our finish cut. I don't need to dress the wheel. I don't believe I'm going to take a look at that. I think the finish is okay, but if I do, I'll dress the wheel, take another cut. down about five tenths. That's all it took to clean this up. You'll notice that it gets a little heavy on the outside and, and not as much on the inside. That's because the heat that we did generate caused the part to swell when it swells. Well, it's going to suck up into the wheel a little bit, so it's going to be a, we'll take a little bit of a heavy cut there when we're taking our rough cut. That's where most of the stock is going to come from. But as it cools down, it shrinks, and now we can take our finish cut. So there you have it. I'm going to turn the spindle off and we'll remove the part and give you an idea what it looks like. Get a good shot of that, Glenn? That's a pretty good finish, and I'm happy with that. Now this is probably going to be flat within a few tenths. I'm, I'm guessing between two and five tenths of being flat. But for the purpose of this particular item, that's all we needed right now. So the other way to grind this is to take five tenths at a time, a thousandth at a time. There's no need to do that. This just saved you probably 45, 30 to 45 minutes by doing it this way. Remember, the type of wheel that you choose is so important. The kind of wheel that I chose here is a 46H. That's a soft bond, and it's a coarse grain. But Remember what we're trying to do, we're trying to remove stock. We're not trying to get the finish down to 100 microns. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to get this to the type of finish that we want that's adequate for the job. And, and in this case, because this is a back side of an item, this is really the finish side, we're plenty good with this. So there you have it. That's one way that you can make yourself a more valuable grinder hand. Thanks for watching.